I can win some news. Mm -hmm. Boy, are you going to be glad when you hear this. Not now, Dennis. I'm reading. Would you rather be surprised at dinner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Dennis, what is the surprise? It's real swell, Dad. It's about something you don't like and I don't like. Never mind that. What is it? Mom burned our liver. <laughs> Control. Are you trying to tell me you've got your own personal TV set? Sure. My mom bought it for me right after I had my adenoids out. Now they can have their programs, and I can have mine. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me... Aw, uh, come on, Dennis. Let's play some baseball. Heck no! I'm going home and talk to my dad! <laughs> I still think you ought to call Opie at the fix-it shop. I don't see any reason to pay Opie good money for a job I can do myself. I can certainly fix a vacuum cleaner. Hey, Dad, am I glad it's Saturday and you're home? Well, that's <laughs> nice to hear. I tell you, son, later on we'll go out and have a little game of catch, huh? I don't want to play catch. You know where I've just been? Half Elwood's house. <laughs> you make it sound like a visit to Buckingham Palace. Sure. You know what Jeff's got? A TV set. Well, so have we. Not in my own personal bedroom. You mean he has his own TV set? Sure. It was an adenoid present. Old Jeff just had his adenoids out and bluey, he got a TV set. <laughs> he was a lucky boy. Boy, I sure do wish I could have a TV set. Sorry, son. Not a chance. Hey, Mom. Don't you think I ought to have a TV set? No, I don't. But Mom! I'm sorry, Dennis. I have to load some clothes in the washer. Hey, Dad, don't you think... Hey, where are you going? I have to fix the vacuum. I'll help you. Hey, Dad, did you ever think that if I had my own TV set, you could watch whatever program you wanted to? Did you ever think of that, huh, Dad? <laughs> Longingly and often. Then why don't we and you go down to Detweiler's department store and pick one out? No, Dennis. Uh, go and unplug that for me, will you, please? probably find a second-hand TV somewhere. No, Dennis. Uh, turn the light on for me, will you? I want to see if the wall plug works. Yeah, that works. What are you doing, Dad? Well, I'm trying to fix this switch. I think it's something loose in there. Boy, you sure know how to fix things, don't you, Dad? <laughs> I know a little bit about it. You know how to fix things, and you know how to make things. A few things. But then how about making... Not a TV, Dennis. <laughs> Go plug it in again for me, will you? Let's see what happens. Okay, Dad. <clears throat> there you are, Dad. Thanks, Dennis. Now. <laughs> hey, Dad, you turned off the lamp. <laughs> Boy, it sure is pretty tricky when you can turn off the lamp with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> pretty tricky. Turn the lamp on again. Can't. Henry, something's happened to the washing machine. All of a sudden, it stopped. Hey, Dad, you turned that off, too. I bet you turned off the whole house. I didn't turn off anything. I, I must have blown a fuse, honey. Like when Mr. Wilson gets mad? Oh, like in the fuse box. Well, there's a spare one in the kitchen in the top drawer. I know, but first I'm going to make a phone call. Who are you calling? The person I should have called in the first place, Opie. <laughs> I'm not going to say a word, because I haven't an I told you so bone in my whole body. No, but you sure drop a mean hint. Are you sure that's where adenoids are? Sure, I'm sure. And anyway, Jeff had his out, and he got a TV set. You mean a toy one? I mean a real one. Right in his own personal bedroom. <laughs> and I always thought he was so dumb. Not Jeff, he's plenty smart. I'm going in and talk good old mom into getting me a TV set. 
I'm going home and do the same thing. <laughs> Mitchell, you're a phony baloney. For your information, adenoids are in the throat. They are? Yes. Why, that dumb Tommy, he told me they were in the stomach. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, son. Where are you going? I'm going to move out and start earning my own living so I can buy a TV set. <laughs> You're going to stay right here. Now, where do you suppose a boy your age would get a job? Well, I was thinking about getting one as a night watchman in a TV store. <laughs> That's out of the question. So you'd better forget all about it. But, 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 Dad! That's enough, Dennis. Hi, Opie. Hi, Henry. What do you say, Dennis? Hi, Opie. What do you got in that suitcase? A bologna sandwich. <laughs> I was going to start earning my own living, and I figured I might get hungry. Well, it could happen all right. What's the trouble with the vacuum, Henry? I think it's got a short. It blew a fuse. Well, it ain't no use to bet. Opie can fix it. <laughs> right in here, Opie. Thanks a lot for coming over so promptly. Well, it weren't no trouble at all, Henry. I had to drop by Mr. Wilson's anyhow. What's he bust, Opie? He ain't busted nothing. His TV set needed adjusting for flop over. Then I fixed it up for a remote control unit. Hey, my friend Jeff Elwood's downstairs TV's got one of those. Jeff told me so. Sure, Opie fixed it up for him, just like Mr. Wilson's. Boy, I sure would like a TV set with a remote. Dennis, <laughs> I didn't know you could install a remote control in an old set. Opie can. I fixed a lot of them up all over town. I'm going over and take a look at Mr. Wilson's. Maybe he'll let me run it. Well, don't bother him if he's busy, Dennis. Okay. Come in. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Oh, oh, hello, Dennis. I came over to see your remote control. Hey, where's your TV set? Oh, we moved it upstairs to the den. Let's ask Mrs. Wilson for permission to go up and watch it for a while. Well, Mrs. Wilson's visiting her sister for a few days, and I don't have to ask for permission. <laughs> Why don't we go up and you can show me how your remote control works? I'll help you count your money afterwards. I'm not counting my money, Dennis. I'm working on my coin collection. And why should I show you how my remote control works? Because my friend Jeff Elwood's downstairs TV's got one of those, and I need to practice. <laughs> but you don't have to if you don't want to, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> well, I'm glad you see it that way. <laughs> sure, I'll figure it out myself. Huh? Oh, great Scott, here we go again. Dennis, come back here. Don't you touch anything. You wait for me. Hey, Mr. Wilson, how do you turn it on? Now, I told you not to touch it. I didn't touch it, Mr. Wilson. I just looked at it. How do you turn it on? Oh, with this. Hey, Mr. Wilson, how come you're using that instead of just turning the knob? Because with this, you can sit on the sofa and tune the set without getting up. Or you can stretch out, make yourself really comfortable, <laughs> or you can slip off your shoes, know that you don't have to move for hours. You can sip your favorite drink. I'll have a root beer. <laughs> Dennis, I didn't mean you. I meant me. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Uh. Sit down. <clears throat> now, you just push this button, and the set goes on. OK. Uh, I'll push it. Hey, it went on! Well, of course it went on. And it doesn't flop anymore, either. No, it doesn't. 
I'll say this for Opie. He took an ordinary, run-of-the-mill television set and turned it into a modern, technical wonder. Can you make it go louder? Well, of course I can make it go louder. You just, uh, I just push this button. Can you make it change stations? Of course I can make it change stations. I just push this button. Now walk. Boy, that's swell. <laughs> it certainly is. Why, with this control, I can do most anything. Can you turn off the lamp with it? Of course not, Dennis. My mom's vacuum cleaner can. <laughs> For Pete's sake, here are your shoes. Will you please go home, Dennis? Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> you don't expect a vacuum to pick up leaves, Henry. I didn't. It ain't natural to the mechanism. Well, maybe Dennis. If you've got to clean up leaves, Henry, use a rake. Vacuums are for indoor. Opie, I... Oh, you probably burned out the motor, but I can fix it. I gotta take it down to the shop. Well, if anybody uses outdoors, it was Dennis. Ah, it'll be ready by 4.30. You can pick the knives up, too. Okay, Opie, but I want you to know that I didn't have it. I want to talk to you, young man. I'll see you down at the shop, Henry. Bye, Dennis. I can't bear to see a piece of machinery abused. Dennis, did you use that vacuum cleaner outdoors? Sure, Dad, don't you remember? You told me to clean up the leaves. Well, I'm very angry with you. Cheaper's Dad, you were yesterday. You looked out the window and said, Dennis, that's a very good job. <laughs> then you gave me a quarter. Well, it's going to cost me $5 to get that vacuum cleaner fixed. Do you want your quarter back? No, <laughs> Dennis, but... You want to play a game with me? No, you go out and play with Tommy. He can't come out. When he told his mother he had a stomachache in his adenoids, she put him to bed until the doctor could look at him. So will you play a game with me? Well, all right. What do you want to play? Let's play tea kettle. How do you play tea kettle? Well, I'll tell you something with the word tea kettle in it, and you have to guess what tea kettle is. Okay, shoot. Now, if I had a tea kettle in my room, I could learn all about cow... Dennis, food. you march right upstairs. <laughs> Can I come down later and watch the cowboy movie on TV? Well, you can come down later, but you're out of luck about the cowboy movie. I'll be watching the golf tournament. Now, march! <laughs> I'm in the guest room, Mom! What are you doing in here? I'm using Dad binoculars to watch the Charlie Chan movie. What? <laughs> and Mr. Wilson's TV set. Dennis, you shouldn't be looking in it, Mr. Wilson. I can't even see Mr. Wilson. He must be lying on the bed working the remote control. Well, never mind that anyway. Your father says you can come downstairs now. Is the golf tournament over? It hasn't even started yet. He wants to know if you'd like to go with him to Opie's to pick up the vacuum cleaner. Okay. I couldn't hear what the Charlie Chan movie was all about anyway. All I could tell was that the number one son kept falling through trap doors. Uh, Ken, there you are, Henry. Now, if you keep indoors, you ain't going to have a bit of trouble with her. Opie, I did. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. You know what I wish we could buy, Dad? I wish we Dennis, could Dennis, you don't want to be punished again, do you? <laughs> I'm not talking about a TV set. Is that what you thought I was talking about? Well, I certainly did. Heck no. What I'm talking about is a remote control for a TV set. Opie's selling lots of them, Henry. Uh, no, thanks, Opie. Come on, Dennis. How about if I buy it with my own money? Could I do that? Well, all right. I've got 40 cents. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't quite cut it, Dennis. How about if I rent one? Could I do that? Well, I expect not, Dennis. Come on, Dennis. We've got to get home. Yeah. I just thought of something I got to do. What did the doctor do? He took my temperature and felt my pulse, but I guess I didn't have either one, because he told my mom I was okay. Gee, it sure was swell that Jeff to let you use his downstairs remote control. <laughs> he isn't letting me use it. His folks aren't going to be home, so he rented it to me for a dime. Are you sure that's going to work on Mr. Wilson's TV? All these things are exactly the same. Look out the window in your dad's field glasses. I don't see anything. 
That's because Mr. Wilson doesn't have his TV set on. That's too bad. No, that's well, because that means he's downstairs and we won't be bothering him. How about Mrs. Wilson? She's visiting her sister. Watch how I turn it on. <laughs> Hey, it's on. Sure. But I can't hear anything. I'll turn it louder. I love having your head on my shoulder. Your face is so soft. My position, they don't matter at all. I love you so much. Great Scott. And I adore you. Remus, did you put your foot on the tuner? <laughs> But what are we going to do about your mother? She hates me. Oh, she'll love you when she gets to know you. Boy, isn't this swell? <laughs> yeah, this is more fun than having your own TV set. <laughs> now, don't you touch it, Fremont. I've got to get my nap, and I can't do it with that TV set on. <laughs> hey, it went off. Boy, I guess Opie didn't fix it as good as Mr. Wilson thought he did. Can you turn it on? I'll try. What about your father? Why don't you take the job in Daddy's factory? I want to be a writer, Daddy. Is it that you want to be a writer, or is it your false pride? Is that what's keeping us from marrying? Oh, Martha, you Darling, little mate. I have something to say uh -huh. as a writer. You got something home early. Important. You're playing one of your little tricks on me, huh? <laughs> now, Fremont, where could she be hiding, huh? I know. In the closet. <laughs> what? <laughs> We know, don't we? She's out in the hall. <laughs> Martha? Martha, where are you? Okay, if I change channels. Sure, see if you can get a cowboy picture. That station that's doing it. I've already seen this picture. Me too. I'll see what else is on it. Yeah, turn it a little louder. Is this the manager of the TV station? Well, I want to talk to somebody. Well, yes, I'll tell you what I mean. Well, your transmitter's going crazy. <laughs> yes. Well, you were showing a, a love story just a while ago, and then you suddenly switched to a western. <laughs> what do you mean, nonsense? <laughs> there, you switched to something else again. <laughs> and turn down your volume! <laughs> Back to that first cowboy picture. Yeah, I always did like that one. <laughs> there, you switch back to the cowboy picture again. <laughs> well, if I can't have a little ordinary courtesy, I won't even watch your television station. <laughs> Of course you can't. Turn your television set down. We can hardly hear ourselves think over here. I've been trying to turn it down, but my remote control unit's running wild. Oh, I'll turn the set off, Mitchell. Hey, it went off. Yeah, I'll turn it on again. <laughs> Here. 
Something sure gone wrong with this remote control. Yeah, and Jack charged you a whole dime. I'll give it a tap. Dennis, come to dinner. Okay, Mom. Boy, I'm hungry. Me too. I'd better go home. Opie, this is George Wilson. What kind of a contraption did you sell me anyway? It's running wild. Why, well, I had to unplug my TV set. Simmer down, George, simmer down. You're allowed to blow a gasket. <laughs> now, what's running wild? This remote control unit. Why, well, it turns itself on and switches to cowboy programs. The volume's so loud they can hear it next door. I hope you'll be there inside of ten minutes. Cowboys. <laughs> Hello, Martha. Uh, where are you? I'm still at Elizabeth, dear. But I miss you so much, I had to find out how you are. Well, I'm fine, but I'm afraid our TV set isn't. <laughs> I finally installed that remote control unit, and it's running wild. You know, for a moment, I thought you might be hiding in the closet playing your tricks on me. <laughs> oh, George, I wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> I don't know about that. You remember that time in Atlantic City? <laughs> and on the 10th hole, his drive went a good 250 yards. I, may I come in? Of course, Mr. Wilson. You can have dessert with us. It's chocolate pudding. Well, thank you, no. I came over to apologize for that noise from my TV set this afternoon. <laughs> That's all right, Mr. Wilson. Sure, otherwise I couldn't have heard it. Opie came over and looked at my tuner, and as soon as he turned it up, it seemed to be all right again. Why, well, he wouldn't even admit something was wrong with it. Oops, can be pretty stubborn. <laughs> well, you folks just go right ahead with your dinner. I, I'm just awfully sorry about that noise. <laughs> it's all right. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Yeah. That was awfully nice of him. I was having trouble with my tuner today, too. Your tuner? Sure, I rented one like you said I could. From Jeff Elwood's house. I've been running Mr. Wilson's TV set from the guest room. <laughs> what? I don't believe it. Shall I turn it on for you? No! You take that right back to Jeff. And never read it, or borrow it, or bring it in this house in, in any way ever again. Do you realize the trouble you've caused this afternoon? No, what? Well, the noise practically blasted us out of the house, and it upset Mr. Wilson, and he had to call Opie. Jeepers, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted a TV set to watch. <laughs> well, you will certainly never get one that way. You stand a better chance of getting your own TV set if, if you learn to be a good boy, obedient, helpful. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. And you know how I'm gonna start out? I'm gonna clean my plate even if it is liver. <laughs> He's asleep. It was certainly nice of you to help me with my suitcase. I know it. I've been helping everybody since yesterday. And if I keep on helping them for six months, I'll get a TV set. You know, I'd play a little trick on him if I knew how to turn on that new remote control unit. <laughs> sure, you, Mrs. Wilson. You just press this button. Control right after Mrs. Wilson turned it on for you. You 